think when they're a wild horse, they're more loyal and they depend on you more. When I'm about to ride him and there's a saddle on his back, he really gets excited, I think. I think he's like, yay, we're gonna go do something. He's like a mountain goat. I mean, he, he's so athletic and in the mountains, he's fantastic. He's a very versatile horse and uh, he's drop dead gorgeous in my opinion. I've had two other Mustangs as well. I've adopted two out of Canyon City, so I already had Mustangs. So I was looking for one closer and I saw the organization um, that the Forest Service works with, the Hickory and Mustang Heritage Alliance. And so Annie begged me for a baby horse and so we went down and adopted Cinch. I wanted a baby horse, so my mom said we'll go down to the place we got him and we'll go pick out one. Hickory Mustang Heritage Alliance is a nonprofit organization to help one Mustang at a time be able to find a forever home. Everything that we do to gentle that horse is based on what is unique about that horse's personality. Did they come in extra wild? Do they have some quirks? We want to understand that horse before we start promoting that horse for adoption. I, I base most everything on, on uh, building a trust and a relationship with the horse. And by doing that, sometimes you have to put a little bit of pressure on them in order to take it off so that they can know that, that you do have something to offer them. The wild horses do need to be managed. You can't graze the land forever and expect it to feed more than it's capable of feeding. But they need to be managed in a humane and thoughtful process. In taking the uh, horses from the Forest Service and providing a, a gentle Mustang to the public is an extremely important element that we, we need to continue to educate and help people embrace. We like the fact that all, all these horses are going to go to a home rather than going to a long-term or short-term holding facility so the taxpayers aren't paying to feed them anymore and they're living a life with a person somewhere. Wild horses are a, um, a good option. Many of our adopters have young children and, and our horses happen to be small. They are a piece of our American heritage and they make awesome horses. They just have been mislabeled as uh, difficult. I think a lot of the other forests around the country are going to be doing this kind of work. I would love to be able to expand and to be able to take more horses from the Forest Service. I think Mustangs bring an incredible ability to bond with their adopters, especially if they ultimately become a, a child's horse. They take care of those kids. They literally will take care of the kids. When Cinch uh, came into the program, he was uh, about six, seven months old. He actually formed a little bond with the laws and they could play games. And that personality that was in Cinch as a baby is still in him today. Then I looked at a lot of horses and then I went to his stall and he was just like sitting in the corner like, hello, what's your name? Yeah, it's been worth it. If I like am bored, I, I can come out here and do something with him worthwhile because he um, will always like do something. He always wants to do something. What I'm really proud of passing on to my daughter is that um, we can take animals that need homes. They don't have to cost a ton of money and they're perfectly wonderful animals and they're gonna give you the same reward as a horse you spend $5,000 on. You're part of um, helping these Mustangs find homes. <laughs>